Look at that absolutely beautiful seawater tilapia. Yes, you've heard me right. It's actually seawater tilapia. Couple of ways to know how your fish is fresh. Look at the eyes. It has to shine and it can't smell fishy. Now, guys, we're back in the studio. This fish has been neutralized, it's been gutted and scaled. We did all of that behind cameras, obviously, because those are the nasty bits, especially when the fish is still alive. Before I begin, I'd like to do a quick shout out to Epi Fishing. This is Oscar, though he looks like a bandit, but he's actually a really nice guy that sells live seawater tilapia and prawns. Thank you, Oscar, for delivering this to me. You're amazing. These guys are absolutely amazing, okay? They've got trucks that suit up with tanks and oxygen pumps so that the fish are actually alive and well as they're delivering the fish to you. So it's as fresh as it gets. Now, the only thing that will do this justice is either you steam the fish or the recipe I'm going to be doing today is salt bake. Let's start. First off, aromatics. Lemongrass, bruise. Lime, slice. Next up, you want to season the cavity of your fish, okay? And then stuff the fish with the lemongrass, the lime, and coriander, including the root of the coriander as well, because that's where all the flavor is at. So now that the fish is nice and stuffed, we're going to start preparing our salt. You can use the cheap stuff. You don't have to buy the expensive salt. We're just adding water to the salt yeah, to moist it so that it will help bind the salt when we cover it on the fish. So the consistency you're looking for is sort of like wet sand. Right, so now we're ready to encase the fish in salt. I've lined up a baking tray with parchment paper. This just makes it easier to remove the fish onto your serving dish once um, the fish is done. Okay, so first off, you spread out an even layer of salt at the bottom. There we go. Next, we take our beautiful fish that has been stuffed, okay? And we place it right down. And then we're gonna to top it off with the rest of the salt. Use your hands, compress the salt, making sure that the fish is entirely covered in this salt case. You wanna make sure that it's nice and cover it everywhere so that the steam doesn't escape. And that way, the fish is just gonna cook in its own juices. So there you go. The fish is nice and covered. Give it a check once again all around. Make sure there are no openings, there are no gaps. So now I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. We're going to be baking it for approximately 30 to 40 minutes. That really depends on the size of the fish. As the fish cooks, you can actually smell that natural fragrance, that natural scent of fish. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of those reasons why I love salt baked fish so much. All right, so now that our fish is baking in the oven, let's make a nice dipping sauce, okay? Let's start off with half an onion, three cloves of garlic, two numbers of bird's eye chili, lastly, some coriander. Now you get them into a bowl, and to this, we're adding the juice of one lime. Now we're gonna add some sweet soy sauce. Now give it a good mix around. So once the fish is out, you can actually smell the aromas of the lemongrass, the fish itself and the lime. It's absolutely amazing. So now we're gonna remove it from the baking tray and onto a serving board. And in order to serve this, like I said, we had to crack open the salt. This is what we're going to be doing now. Gently just remove the salt. And then to serve, we're going to just gently cut across the skin of the fish and then gently just peel off this beautiful skin, exposing that nice flesh of the fish. And now to serve it with our beautifully made dipping sauce. 
And there you go, guys. This is salt baked seawater tilapia fish. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. Love you all. Stay safe.